Hello, and welcome to Cat Hunter Vlogs. I don't know if I'm uploading this. I've done a lot of these. Clearly only one has been uploaded. But today I'm going on an adventure. I... I'm gonna take some photos. With a film camera. Uh, today, I have been... It's, it's an assignment for school. And the assignment is to mess around with Aperture and F... Um, F-stop. And shutter speed. Anyway, I don't know actually how I'm going to go about this, but we'll see. I'm going to take, have it here. Um, can I swap mid-record? No, I can't. The path goes down that way. And how cameras normally work, or film cameras at the very least, is you can focus on one point and the rest will be blurred, but when you change the aperture, change the depth of field. So for example, if my hand is here, those trees in the back will be blurred, but if I change <laughs> the aperture higher, meaning, pretty sure I think it closes more, so it's kind of like this, and then it closes, then everything is in focus, and it, because it, it makes the illusion that everything is on the same 2D plane. So then I can mess with the camera I have on this phone. I'm in nature, by the way. 10 out of 10, pretty great. And I think I can take sample pictures, but some of them I'm going to be messing with shutter speed, so I can't do that, because I can't hold this as well. So I'll throw up the picture I take with this phone of what I'm aiming for with the, the camera. Kind of gross. Anyway, so the last one wasn't a very good example, but you can't see from here, but I'm going to try zooming in on that leaf thing and take one picture where it's in focus and every, uh, oh God. And background is blurry, and then one where it is in focus and everything else in the back is not blurry. But I can't do it with this phone because this phone is just different. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know how I'll do that, but I don't know how that's going to work. The thing is over there. But I'm going to try, I don't think I can, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's, that's nifty. So as you can see there, oh, this is nifty. The tree is there and everything else is blurry. Um, I'm going to turn on aperture preview. Aperture's on four. It's normal. But I'm going to go over here. Take the aperture. Focus, maybe. So it's on the ground, whatever. I switch it from four. Did I say it was on four? I think I did. Try to get a twenty-two, and you'll see a dramatic difference. I didn't actually realize that you could see through the viewfinder. This is sick. I'm gonna hit the aperture preview. It's gonna be really dark. Oh, way too dark. Oh, you can kind of see it. Right now it's blurry. That doesn't show the aperture. You can kind of see everything else clear in the background. So what I'm going to do is picture 13. I'm going to go ahead, set the shutter speed to... Uh, I'm going to set it automatic. Uh, with the aperture on 22. Make sure the tree's in focus still. Yeah, we're good. Take the picture. Shutter speed was probably like one half of a second. Or no, maybe it's one eighth. It sounded like one eighth. And then I'm going to change the aperture. No, okay. Change to four. And then I'm going to take the same picture on automatic. You're going to hear it go faster. Make sure it's in focus, actually. Yeah, we're good. So this one should be blurry. It's a plan in the background. See, so yeah, that was much faster. That sounded like 160th as well. Maybe 15 pictures, 14 pictures in. On a roll, I have 36 pictures in it. And I want to go to shutter speed. This might be common sense to some people, but tripod is necessary for shutter speed. For the picture that was that made no sense, but um, where it was long and drawn out, it captures light in that entire moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be the flash. Let me set up this tripod, but how shutter speed works is the camera so the camera it's kind of like this, the inside of it. And when it takes a picture, it goes, Ch -ch -ch -ch, and it, the shutter opens up, light comes in, and then the shutter closes. So if it's 160th of a second, it's 160th of just, -ch -ch -ch. it captures what's there. But if I left the shutters open for two seconds, and a rock went flying across the camera, you would see a blurred line until the shutter's closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture with my phone of my of a rock. No, because my hand's shaky. But that's why the tripod's there. So if my hand's shaking like this, 
and I was just taking one picture, it's open for this entire time, it would just be a blurred mess. So I'll actually just try that real quick. I did a photo of that in focus with the houses in blur, with both apertures, so that's just in focus and both should be in depth of field in focus. And I didn't mess with the ISO, forgot to mention that, but um, and then I did the opposite, so I swap plopped it and focused the houses and then the trees. Now, I then did something that probably won't work. So I think I'm going to try to take a picture of myself. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to focus on a faraway object that's in focus and then try to get on the same 2D plane. And then, it's probably going to be blurry, I'm going to try an aperture 22 and try my best not to move. So we'll see how this goes. Make picture of myself, I need a timer. And I don't know. Oh, wait, it does. I think it does. Anyway, um, that rock, that one, right there. That's really light. But that one right there, I f it's in focus, a little bit beyond focus. I'm going to sit on it and see if I can take a picture of myself with the timer. <laughs> I think this is the timer icon, right? Right here, the little clock. I feel like this is one photo that's multiple beyond me. I want to say that's two sec. Does that make sense? Let me look through. Uh, aperture preview. Oh, it's automatic. Okay. Well, let's let's see. Oh, this is a really cool photo right here. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Okay, so I think you maybe be able to hear that, but I ran and put the phone on my knee. I just realized it was <laughs> Is this height correct? Let's see. So I have to be up with that middle part of the branch. If I sit down, my head is probably cut off. <laughs> but the uh, timer works, so that's good. Um, that means I can try being the flash now. I am going to try and run. I'm trying to try to set the frame here, run across to over there somewhere. And the goal is put on a timer. I wish I could do more than two seconds, but the other option is hold on the button and I can't really do that. Um, I don't have any weights or anything either. I'm going to do two seconds and hopefully it'll just be me as a blur across the screen, uh, the, the, the frame. Apparently I only had one photo left, um, but hey, that does it. Whoa, that's sun. Wait, where was it? There it is. Lens flare? Sick, dude. Part of thumbnail, too. Potential thumbnail. Anyway, it's been a, been a kind of a vlogs, theoretically number two. Let's hope I don't screw it up and develop it. Um, I will... Two things I might do. Uh, also, one thing I wanted to mention, I go into the woods because I hate picturing around people <laughs> or taking photos around people <clears throat> trying to stop getting distracted by lens flares this video has probably been long enough too um turn my camera off otherwise thanks for watching uh, I've been your uh your photographer um I recorded this because I don't my life isn't very interesting um but I'm the kind of whoa whoa stop lens flare please stop and straying away from gaming I don't know play games still, but recording them. It's been an interesting weekend. It's uh, the third today of October. <laughs> Pretty spooping. Uh, it's way too hot for October. Humid. Bugs everywhere. You can hear the birds. But uh, if you haven't been in nature and you watch this instead, hopefully you enjoyed seeing nature. <sighs> the light. The light. The light. It can be around on my face. That'll work. It's kind of fun to just record this because it's kind of like documentation. did this for my darkroom as well, but that video, I just didn't. I just... I didn't bother editing. 55 minutes of footage. Anyway, any questions, let me know. Um, two ways I'm going to upload this video, either now, in like a day or so, or maybe a week probably. Um, or I'll develop my photos and then upload it and take pictures of the photos of some of them. So, uh, I'll, yeah. Usually leave whenever I, uh, a different direction of when I come into this place and casually walking back and uh, someone's built a nice shelter. It's uh, it's pretty sick. Wish I could have seen that so I could take a picture with it with the camera, but 
it's not focusing. Ah, oh, there it is.